Duck and Fergus. Trap points play a vital role in the yard. They stop well as when the wild wolf trains on the main block. They are not mostly unused, but if the need arose, they could derail runaway trucks, coaches, and even engines, as the poor duck found out. The duck had been working with a train and driving. He was keen to learn, and not just about driving the engine. He was eager for his keyboard, which was really a chance to shadow the station master. In his haste to leave, he hadn't put the brakes on properly, and Duck began rolling backwards. He shut his eyes as his weight shifted. His wheels left the rails. Duck was thankful the trap points had done their job, but he was less thankful. If this is the Great Western Way, color me unimpressed, puffed Fergus. It wasn't my fault, Scout. Anyhow, it could have been much worse if not for the trap points. If you'd been doing it right, you wouldn't have needed trap points. They're just an excuse for your blunders. Duck was furious. Once he'd been re-railed, he stormed off to the sheds. Where does he get off with that do-it-right nonsense? Lost the fall from the of What do you mean? asked him. You have to admit, replied Thomas, it's not a far cry from your brother about the Great Western Way. The Great Western Way, thought Doug, is about common sense. Fergus's way is nothing but dangerous perfectionism. He never approves of anyone's work but his own. The twins couldn't argue with that. Fergus certainly wasn't easy to please. Duck was on the for seven days afterwards. The driver wanted to make up for his mistake. Duck wanted to show Fergus a thing or two. This was easier said than done. A bit smoother when buffering up to those trucks, Fergus called from across the road. Do it right! And mind those trap points. I have a yard to sort and no time for rescues, added Fergus. Duck ignored this remark. Fergus huffed indignantly. Hmph, I don't know. These younger engines, he grumbled. No discipline, I tell you. Trucks. The driver noticed a lever that seemed to be untouched. What does this do? he asked, grabbing hold and giving it a pull. Don't touch that! cried the signal. It's... Everything happened at once. Fergus was backing out of the side of the sedans when he swerved suddenly. Oh! he cried. Stop! The vans, across over Fergus's treatment of duck, saw their chance. Go on! Go on! they cried and pushed him along, right off the rails. <laughs> Though trap points are normally worked by powerful springs, they can be operated by the signalman if necessary. The driver had done just that and sent poor Fergus off the rails. Uh, uh, oops, he blushed. Out, 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 yelled the signalman, shooing him out of the box. The driver got back to Duck just as the yard manager was running. Get steam up as quick as you can. That good strain is due out soon and needs sorting. What about Fergus? asked Duck. Oh, leave him where he is. We'll deal with him later, replied the yard manager. Duck set to work at once. The driver was extra careful and they worked quickly to sort out the train. He said nothing as he left the station. 
Fergus felt foolish laying by the line side. Other engines laughed as they passed. He certainly didn't feel he was doing it right anymore. Eventually, efforts began to get Fergus back on the rails. Duck stood nearby, ready to help. Is that you, Fergus? I am surprised. I thought track points were just excuses for slipping up, but you never do that. I'm sorry, said Fergus. I suppose we can't always prevent our little, uh, incidents. Never mind, smiled Duck. If you ask me, admitting you were wrong is very great western. The two engines jumped as Fergus was brought safely back onto the rails. Both are now firm friends. Duck's new driver decided learning other aspects of the railway was too distracting. He became a good driver, and there were no further track point incidents. Fergus gives a 